Welcome back fam, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are ready to eat some goodness. Are you ready? I know you're ready. Today, baby, we are making a little <laughs> surf and turf, a little land and sea. And remember, you gotta eat. Welcome to Kevy's Kitchen. First things first, gonna go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give this video a like, and we're gonna jump in with two room temperature New York strips and a little steak seasoning. You could have used a simple salt and pepper if you wanted to, but you wanna season well on all sides. Make sure you season over a tray or parchment paper. So if you over season and it gets all over the place, you can just roll your, your steak or your chicken or whatever onto the, the rendering elsewhere and make sure you get it nice and well coated on all sides. Now, mind you, you take your steak out 30 minutes, about 30 minutes before you start to um, cook. You want your steaks to come to room temperature so you can ensure a nice, even cooking temperature. And here you see me seasoning the fat cap because that part is my favorite. <laughs> um, and I am not a huge uh, steak aficionado by any means. I'm a Maryland boy, we are seafood all day. But I do all right, I know a little something something. I've learned a lot from my friends that uh, were chefs at Flying Fish, as well as two of my very dear friends, uh, Skip Jones and Jeremy Kroll. They are the steak aficionados of my uh, friendship circle. So if you know, you know, you know? <laughs> and there you have it. A little surf and turf action. I'm gonna throw in a little video of these lobster tails later. But we're gonna start a nice uh, oiled cast iron skillet on high heat. You want that baby smoking. And you wanna sear the fat cap first. I cannot stress that enough. I had no idea that you were supposed to do this and they were like, yeah, you need to get that, that rendering and that flavor. We are all about that flavor, right? The second strip was a little stubborn so we had to use some tongs to hold it up, but you get it. You're gonna render down all of that goodness and then we're gonna sear the rest of the steak in it. Oh, listen to that beautiful sizzle. She's loud, I know. I had to let my fan go in the background because, you know, can't have the fire alarms going off. You wanna sear your steak, depending on how thick it is, for about three minutes a side. Um, I like my steaks a nice medium rare, medium rare plus, which means in between medium rare and medium. Now when you place it down, leave it alone. Don't touch it. Let it go. It'll build a beautiful crust. And when the time's up, you'll know. You can, you can check it, just a little bit. You see the crush you want and you're happy, and you can go ahead and flip her over. Just like so. Add a couple pads of butter in. I also um, added um, a little garlic paste off camera just to um, really enhance the flavor, trying to break it up there, but you let it sear. I reduced my heat down for the second half just a little bit because I don't want to, the garlic to burn. Uh, my butter is nice and brown, so it's gonna get a really nice nutty flavor to it. And just before it's done done, I'm gonna cut the heat off and temp the steak. And you want it to be just under the temperature of where you're trying to go because there will be a carryover to cooking process going. And then you do a little butter basting, a little butter bath. Fresh up, fresh up, fresh up. Never knew I had to. <laughs> and look at that. Just succulent, meaty deliciousness. Now comes my favorite part, the plating. I, like I've said before, am nobody's chef, but the plating is fun for me. It's not always perfect, but it is what it is. We have a little vegetable melage here, which is just a California blend of veggies. You could have used, or I could have used mashed potatoes or uh, roasted fingerling potatoes if I wanted to, or a different starch, but I just chose veggies, because, you know, why not? I don't eat a lot of red meat, 
But when I do, I do. <laughs> I think I would have made my friend Skip proud with this one. I think he, he approved. Got those lobster tails. Now, don't you worry. The video is coming soon, I promise. Lobster was actually a lot of fun. Cause you know me, I gotta have a little seafood with everything I do. Just a little bit. And then of course, we gotta make it pretty with a little food grass. Oh, let's get the juices off. Cause you know we gotta get that Instagram shot. Don't forget to turn on your notifications and subscribe, please. It helps my channel out hugely, immensely. That was redundant, but you get the drift. And there you have it, folks. Look at that goodness. Mm. Child, shut your mouth and keep on talking. <laughs> Feed me. Beautiful, medium, rare, plus. There you have it, folks. Oh, wait. <laughs> I had to get that Instagram shot. If you aren't following me, you should consider doing so right now. Baby! Hey! Baby! Oh, yeah, I'm single. That's right. Cheers. Thank you so much for watching, friends. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.